Hello, it's Pastor Paul L. Anderson from the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship, where we believe God's blessings never stop flowing. It is Satisfaction Saturday. God has been good to us. He has brought us through this entire week, and now we're on the last day of this week. What a powerful thing to know. And God is taking us into that second weekend of Advent as we prepare for the coming of the Christ into all of our lives. Please look with me at the book of Ezekiel, the 36th chapter, verses 24 through 28, New Living Translation, a powerful word. This is the prophetic word that Ezekiel gives to us, and we hear what God has to say. God said he's going to gather up his people from all the nations, from all over the world. And God is not only going to gather us, but he is going to forgive us of our sins. He's going to take away from us a heart of stone, and he's going to give us a heart of flesh. He's going to give us an opportunity where we, where we can serve him, worship him, glorify him, and praise him like we were created to do. He tells us that because of our straying away, the filth in our lives, the dirtiness in our lives, the sin in our lives, the stain of sin, God is going to wash it all away. He's going to do it like nobody else could. He's going to wash us and we're going to be whiter than snow. And as God washes us and takes away all of the filth, all of the dirt out of our lives, he's going to do something powerful. He's going to give us a new spirit. The text says when God gives us a new spirit, it is then we can now sense and feel what God would have us to feel when we're around other people. Don't you know that God created us to live in the midst of people, to be in an environment where people are so we can minister to people who are going through COVID-19. So we can minister to people who have found themselves experiencing racial bias and cultural bias. God has given us a heart that's after him, a new spirit. That way we can sense and feel the pain of people who are suffering from economic decay. Those who are suffering from being cut out and shut out from being a part of this economy. God wants us to know that he wants to do something new and different in our lives. He wants to give us a new spirit. And you know, when God gives us a new spirit, it is then that we know that we've been made new. You know, the Bible reminds us whenever God is doing something great and powerful in the lives of his people, he gives them a new vision. He gives them a new look. Ezekiel sees something like he's never seen it before. God gives him something new. And God says, when I put my spirit in you, you're going to want to have a desire to seek me, to love me and to follow my decree and to follow my ordinances and not only to personally follow them, but to teach them to others so they will do the same. I hope that you and I, as we are getting ready and doing all of our shopping to get ready for new gifts to put under the tree for someone, wouldn't it be great if we gave ourselves a new gift? And that is that precious gift from God, that gift of eternal life, that gift of salvation. So we can tell everyone, I have been changed. I've been transformed and it's been by the power and the hand of God, not me. We must remember this. And then Israel will live. Then you and I will live. And then all of that which God has promised to his people will come into fruition. May God bless you. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for Sunday morning worship. God bless you. We'll see you then. To sow a seed to the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship, visit our newly redesigned website, thefountainofraleigh.org, and select Sow a Seed from the homepage. Also, giving has been made easier with the new Fountain of Raleigh app, available now in the Apple App Store and Google Play Store. Download today, select Giving from the main menu, and then follow the directions to complete your giving through Subsplash. Thank you so very much for your prayerful support and all the things that we have done in ministry to help so many others. We thank you so very much for your generous support in times past, and we thank you for your present support and what you will do in the future. May God richly bless you exceedingly and abundantly above all that you're able to ask, say, or think according to his power at work in you. God bless you. Okay.